In this screencast, we're going to talk about frames. Frames are used when you just want one part of your website to change and the other parts to remain unchanged. The concept of this technique is basically piecing together many web pages into one single web page. This technique is not widely used in the modern day site development anymore because it's harder to maintain frame sites and it's not actually search engine friendly. But the syntax is there, uh, the technique is there, you can use it however you want. So let me show you how a frame is set up. Let's open up our HTML folder. I have a frame set.html. Let me open it with top style. You see that I have a few different setups here. Let me first go over the column frame set. Initially, you will have to set up the frame set tag, open frame set tag, then close the frame set tag. Within the frame set tag, you would create different frames, individual frames. You can create as many frames as you want, but it'll just make your frame really small and the pages that you have inside are not going to have a lot of content to show. So the first style is columns. You can split your site up in columns and within each frame you can name the frame. For example, I've named my frames left column, center column, and then right column. And like I said earlier, frames are actually sourcing a different web page. So you have this frame set.html, and within the frames, you source another page. Right here, I have left.html. So whatever the content that's in left.html would show up in this frame. Then for the for the center frame, I have center.html. For the right frame, I have right HTML. Let's see what this looks like. I have to comment out some of these because these are different layouts. One thing you you've realized is even though this is a standard HTML document, when you have a frame set in here, you don't need the body tag. Save this, minimize it. Let's load frameset.html in our browser. Let me minimize it. Okay, looks good. So we have a left column, we have a center column, and we have the right column. We can adjust the column width and height. If you have more content in the center column, the scroll bar will be displayed within each frame. If you have more co content here, there will be a scroll bar here. So is for the right column. Of course, there are ways you can hide your borders. You can make the border zero and make it not adjustable. So you see this is, I'm splitting the, the view of my web page into column mode. Let's look at the row mode. Comment this out. Right here you see that I have frame set with three frames. And what's special is I've changed columns to rows here and I made it equal to, you can do pixels, this is pixels, this is pixels, this is everything that's left. So I want the top to have 150 pixels, the bottom to have 150 pixels, and everything that's left will be the height of the second frame, which is the content frame. You see here that for the column frame set, I can do percentages too. So 
So let's save this, minimize it, bring back Firefox, refresh the same page. Now we get header row, content row, and footer row. These are actually each individual HTML pages. And of course you can adjust the height. You can make it fixed and you can have the border set to zero and nobody will see that you have a frame set except viewing your source. Let's go back. Let's comment the row frame set out and look at, look at something more complicated. You can actually nest your frame sets to first have rows then within the rows you can have another frame set that has columns or vice versa or however you want it but I did this because I want to uh, mimic the layout of um, a usual website where you have a header, a footer, and the content with a different number of columns. So I made the header row, header frame, that sources header HTML, no resize, Scroll, scrolling is no, frame border to zero. This time you won't see any borders. Then let's go down to the footer. I have the footer that sources footer.html, no resize, scrolling zero, no frame border zero. Then within frame set, the content frame set, I have uh, columns. I, this would be my left navigation column, the right column, and then everything else I want it to be in the middle. Let's save it, minimize it, bring it back, refresh. You now see that header row, left column, center column, right column, then the footer row. You don't see the borders anymore because I've disabled it. And I want you to look at these uh, links. If I click on link 1, look at what's in here. It becomes center column, page 1. This is page 2, page 3. So when I set up a link like this inside one frame, I can have the link page load in any frame that I want. I can name it. And that's done through setting up the names for each frame. And I'll show you really quick. Left Each link has href that points to one HTML, two HTML, but I have target here. Target equals center, which was the name of that frame. Okay, and that's it for this screencast. Thank you.